right, guys, we're doing a little bit of a different video today. Um, this new job coming up, I decided to get some new wrenches. These are my main go-tos for the last couple years. This trusty Pittsburgh uh, quarter, the swivel, is really nice. I actually use the swivel a lot. I tighten it up pretty tight so it doesn't swivel too easily, but sometimes it gets annoying. And then uh, the handle itself will twist on this. So things with high torque, when you're doing it um, in this setting, it will slip. So you have to bring it back down, break it, and then bring it back up to do it. This guy right here, um, it gets stuck. So you flip it and it won't work. You have to tap it on the ground a couple times to get it to the poles to, to unstick. I probably could just unlock it or you know take the screws out and move it up or something, but I wanted something a little more fancy. All right, guys, so I follow a lot of, like, uh, I don't know, shorts videos and stuff, and I found these. This brand is called Wera, and these, this series is called the Zyklops. So we got Wera. Oh, this is the, oh, this is the crate. So I have a third one coming that's uh, half inch, but the quarter and, woo, three eighths showed up today. And these are super nice. Wow. And has... So this part right here spins, so you can hold onto this and spin it. These lock into a couple different positions. Okay, you can hold that one. There you go, hold that one. So this will lock there, it will lock right here and right here. You got a nice button, button here that pulls that out. And when it's in like this, you go up and it'll release it. So. And it also has this. Feels good. This isn't gonna slip. Feels nice and solid. It is a little big for you know this is a three eighths. The head is similar to this half inch, but let's compare these two. These are about the same. This is Pittsburgh, and I've had it for many years, so that's uh nice. I'm excited to use these though. Listen to the ratchet. Listen, listen, listen. That's smooth. Nice. And then to switch direction, you just spin it on the top. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to actually uh, use these. Like I said, I got a quarter inch one on its way to, or a half inch, sorry on its way as well. So I have all three. They are a little pricey, but uh, they got a really nice warranty. And obviously you can see these are some stout pieces. Like they feel, that feels really good in the hand. Oh, excited to give them some use here. All in the nice and lubed up in there. So this is cool. Very nice. I'm playing with these a little bit more and how much torque it takes to spin this is very, very light. Like it, I don't know if you guys have ever messed, you're on a bolt and your wrench is so tight that even when you're doing like the click side of it, it's spinning it both ways as you turn because it takes so much torque to get the head to spin. Like these take a lot more effort to, to spin rather than these. So this is gonna help things that are already like, like a, a nut that isn't very tight on threads. Or a, or a bolt, um, you'll still be able to like, you know, do, do your backhand portion without it tightening along with it. This one's notorious for that. This Pittsburgh is, even for a quarter inch, like it takes a, a lot for it to to spin. And it's, it's a five degree backlash on this as well. It's really nice. I really, really like the way that these look. A really nice aesthetic to them. The etching on them is really nice. The feel of everything is super premium. This is a German brand. It's got the three eighths on the bottom. What do you think, Rylan? You like it? What do you say? Say yes. Can you say yes? Yes. Yeah, that's what I thought. So this is the the Pittsburgh. You can see it kind of wants. To how floppy that is. That's a little floppy. Way different sound. And it has this on it so you can 
free spin. So that's quite nice. And then you can still, even with like this, you can still swap the rotation. The different angles, you got your 90. It's like a, I don't even know, 45-ish. Like I said, when you have a socket on it like this, you wouldn't be able to press the button, but you just press up to release. I'm curious to see the sound of this one now. Let's get, uh, I don't think I have any three-eighths right in here. Ooh. Yeah, that sounds good, huh? Also spins quite nice. What do you think? Compare that to this big boy. Yeah. It has all types of play in this one. Huh. These are still plenty of play. I mean, this is an adapter, but I did think it would be a little bit tighter. Yeah, that's what it is. Very nice. All right, here we are a couple days later, and our half inch just showed up. So we will unbox that now. I'm excited. That is a big boy. I don't have my tripod today. Oh my goodness. It's huge. Holy crap. Next up to the 3 8 and the quarter, my goodness. Put that up to my, this was my daily, my cobalt. You can see it's a little bit longer. The head size is definitely way bigger. That's crazy. Yep, definitely losing some, some room there, but typically you're not using something like this in a super tight space how big this is wow much louder than the other ones you hear how skippy this one is <laughs> it's junk this thing is going to go right into the garbage i can't even twist it right now with my fingers Just sounds like shit. This you can just tell by the sound how good it feels in your hand. Nice. This one's probably the smoothest. So I guess we really haven't felt this one yet. Ooh, now this one's going to take definitely a bit more torque to get it to go back. This one's very light. Barely any pressure to get this to to spin. I think this one takes even more than the three eighths. Maybe because it's so small, I gotta put a little bit more effort into squeezing it. But this is super light. And I think this three eighths is gonna be the the go to grabber. I actually don't even carry a three eighths in my my bag my tool bag with me um either have this or this and i use a step up or a step down never really had a reason to carry it directly to three eighths but uh i think this is going to be my go-to so smooth and the size is, is pretty good this thing is just massive maybe i didn't need to get all three <laughs> golly huge i mean i got big hands and that is that's a big one. I can't believe the size difference between like the quarter and the three eighths isn't too busy. Like this goes down to like that last knuckle and then this one starts at like, oh my goodness. That should be really good leverage though. A little bit more 
close up here. Let me use this and zoom in. Might as well throw this on the end of the video. So, got a new job as an aircraft mechanic, and uh, they don't provide tools. You gotta provide your own tools. And of course, everything I work on is metric, and aircraft is standard. So, got me some spanners, got me some wrenches, um, Milwaukee, of course. And they were on sale. I wasn't gonna buy these, I was gonna buy the Weras, but uh, these were on sale. So, I grabbed this nice set, and I have like some uh, other random stuff, like the smaller stuff, I think from. Probably uh, five eighths or nine sixteenths down. I already had, but I didn't have any of this. So I uh, need to have like the real nice, uh, keep stuff from rounding, good grip. There's ink in there, and so they, they just feel nice. Of course, got some of these. These are just cheap, but should get the job done as long as I take care of them. Saw this while I was there. Um, I was gonna order this, but I hate ordering things online, so that on my gun and of course since i'll have tools at work that i use all week and i'll have to take stuff home i was like well not everything fits in here which i have this pretty jam-packed and uh portable as is like i have like all my main all the main things you'd really want my extensions some gloves like my wiggles and some torque stuff actually or triple squares i can take my seats out I forgot I had these. I have a socket set of these, but I can also just use these. So maybe my passenger seat will come out tonight. Anyway, uh, I got the, the gun condom for this fella. So we'll get that on there. And we're gonna reorganize some of this stuff to put in here and put some other stuff back in here. And uh, yeah, so then now this will connect to this. Anyway, take a look and we'll see how everything looks when it's organized. This isn't going in there. That'll go right into the toolbox. All right, and to finish this up, this is my little guy that'll go on the bottom. Got all my uh, half inch metrics in there with some ball headed Allens and my, whatchamacallit, magnetic spark plug tool. Got my sort of Allens, my three eighths and um, quarter. Just regular sockets. Uh, Allen keys. Nice little Allen key holder set. You can pull one out. They're in there pretty tough. I like these. Usually my go-tos. I got my little charger. Um, got my picks in there. And then this is gonna get, I'm gonna put more sockets. I just gotta grab them. And this is like all my drain plugs and crush washers. Um, the car. Set that in there, right? So I always gotta, you know, spare second spare charger on me and that, that'll power a radio, a drill, a light, uh, all types of things. And this is also USB, USB C, USB A. Boom. And this picks up, oops. Close it up real quick and then we'll slide it on. How's that? Pretty cool. As I wake my daughter up, Boom. up top, adapters, uniwiggles, extensions, uh, my handy 10 mil, some flatheads, that, this is um, you know, kind of what's in use or what's about to be used, triple squares and some adapters, spark plug stuff, Torx, gloves and O2 tool, knife, some random stuff, some random Allen keys, mirror, multi, whatever. It's kind of junk, but it comes in handy. And then, got my new gun with my new condom on it. I got my, my big boy there, spare battery. These, I love those pliers for clamps. Got uh, my big boy sockets for, I don't know, random things. This, this one's like for my oil filter. Some random other stuff that'll be used. Uh, torque guys for wheels. I like this set right here. 
a nice set of bits with a mini ratchet. And I have my uh, my thin, my real thin 10 mils in there for our, uh, whatchamacallit, cool pack grounding stuff. And then all these these bits that come in handy. I usually, I like to use this a lot on uh, turbo installs and stuff. Specifically what I got this for. More Allen keys. You never get it out. You'd think I'd use Allen keys more with as many as I carry. <laughs> I got my snips, pliers, um, tire repair kit, and I don't know. I think something else in there. Don't remember. And I got my M18 battery, which powers the charger down there. This is my spare. Uh, mechanical claws. There's a cable in here that is USB A, USB C uh, markers snap on uh, the other halves in here too. Oh, I can put any of those bits in here if I need to as well. And uh, that's it. This will be my my traveling set. So I got to work on my car or someone else's car if I'm going to the track or what have you. This will just be this will just be that. This kind of solves my craving for pack out stuff. I want to go crazy with it. I want to get the rolling cart and all that stuff, but I got to hold back. This will be my to and fro. You know, I work all week with most of my tools at work and then I'll bring this home on the weekend. Um, whatever else I might need. And then like my, my big impact and my other, I really like this one. You got all the different guys that can fit in there. And then I got my Torx right on the handle. And it's also got drill functions with doubles as a drill. This thing takes care of most things, but uh, anything it can't, that will. But I think I'll be going mostly for the, the M12, but this is nice to have too. Just to have like, have this, the M12, the other M12, the ratchet, and I'll all have different things on them depending on the job. No way you're not having to pull sockets or bits off. You just got an 18 on one, 21 on the other, a 10 on one. That way you're just easily swapping things out when you're, especially like with suspension. You can have all four of my power tools with different things and just, you know, grab whatever you need. There we go. And you can't forget the pack out. Cut. And uh, if we get over here, 